uh, the other tire is actually getting very light when we do that because it's a fixed axle. Um, guys, Porfirio, let's have you do this. Go halfway in between me and the truck. Right here? Yeah, right there. Perfect. Guys, how many people think he might be able to do it from that position? Oh, hell yeah. Not from there. What did he just short? Not the resistance arm length, but the effort arm length. We made it half as big, and if we made it half as big, he's going to have half the force coming out the other side. Let's see if half was enough. I think he might be close. He might have a chance, but I don't know. Yes. Can you do it? That wasn't planned, but it. Well, he's taking some weight off the axle, but I'm not seeing daylight underneath the tire. Yeah. So no help. Okay, Perfirio, like move about right. Long. Let's move about right here. Yeah. All right, one more time. <laughs> there you go. I see daylight underneath the tire, guys. So he finally got it. So he needed what from here to the jack stand is about. I would say. Yeah, 10, 15 feet, and then from the jack stand to the axle is about a foot. So he's getting about a, maybe a 15 mechanical advantage at this point. So if he weighs 200, he pushes down 200, multiply that by 15, what do you get? About 3,000 pounds of upward force. We're only lifting one half, one wheel, so that would be about right. He's actually lifting 3,000 pounds. Okay? It is. All right. I need a couple helpers to get the beam back in the room. Matthew, you can do it.